Hey, good morning guys. So obviously I am in my vehicle. So we're doing a little car vlog, catch up, little visit. So per usual, the light obviously. It's morning right now, so the light's gonna be kind of coming in and out a little bit different. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. Um, I am currently, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I am on my way to my OT appointment. Um, we actually are kind of spread out further between visits now um, for a very, very, very long time because um, she is the one therapist that I have seen the most um, and for the longest period of time. Um, we are stretched out, or I, sorry, I was seeing her weekly and now we're about three to four weeks apart depending so honestly I kind of miss her I'm like I haven't seen her in a while um, but I definitely want to chat with her um, specifically about a couple of different things um, that I have on my agenda and then I will see what she has planned for me as well and, and it's nice because then she always sees what improvements I have made um, so other than that um, I'll be honest, the last couple of weeks have been semi blurryish. <laughs> I I watched my niece for about five days, which was incredible. I was super thankful and uh, just so happy that I was actually in a place in my life finally where I can take care of a little kid. Um, so, so that was good. She talks a lot, so that took my brain was a little like, oh my gosh, you need to chill out. <laughs> but that's normal. That's typical two-year-olds. Um, they're busy. And so, but anyways, like I said, I was super thankful because I did feel pretty decent for the majority of the time that she was um, staying with me. Um, and honestly, I'm just going to say like, I, there were times where I just wasn't feeling good or things were a little bit rough. And so, you know, I had my boys help out a little bit. And if it was towards the evening time, um, I just, I would just have her come and lay in bed with me and we would watch cartoons. Honestly, I feel no shame in that. Like I didn't do it every night she was with me, but um, like I said, there were a couple of times where I just was not feeling so great. Um, but overall it was a good experience and things went well. Um, and then let's see she left on a Sunday and then I had oral surgery on the following Tuesday I had to get um, three teeth removed so if I'm talking a little bit funny once in a while it's because I legit have like three holes in my mouth right now and I woke up um, pretty swollen this morning which I guess they said that that is pretty typical um, day three and four because I was like crazy swollen and then it went down. But then I woke up this morning, I'm like, oh my Lanta, like <laughs> I'm feeling it. So um, I'm really trying right, like super hard over here not to bite this cheek because this side is pretty swollen. But anyways, that, I, I kind of want to chat about that just a little bit because some of you are like, holy crap, how did you get through that? First of all, I had to, to be honest, I have, I had no choice um, one of the teeth was severely broken and it was very infected and it was almost reaching up to my sinus now I'm not a doctor or dentist and I don't know how to explain all that stuff to you all I know is that is bad and so um, I wasn't having pain with it but I definitely knew this is not good and so being they had to do that anyways they went in there and took out a wisdom tooth that was not growing in the right way and also one other broken tooth that I had way in the back um, so I've been slowly if you've watched any of my previous videos I've even like oh gosh how many weeks ago was it now I started my dental journey a few weeks back when just going and getting in the chair of just my my regular dentist and having them do my x-rays and everything just doing that alone was a huge accomplishment but honestly it broke down fear um, because the thing is I had fear prior to the dentist in general like um, 
you know, having the triple P on, D, triple PD on top of it as a whole nother layer of like, oh, I'm freaking out. But this showed me I actually can get through these things. It's not any, I'll be honest, it's not easier than before. It, it definitely, there is a level of, um, I don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I don't want you guys to be scared because the thing is we have to go through some of these things, okay? Um, I had a good, you know, my, my husband is a great support system for me. So I had him with me 100% of the time. I had a plan, you know, I generally I knew what to expect from all of it. And I think that's the best that we can do in the midst of a situation like that. And so I knew obviously, like I said, I went to my regular dentist. I knew I was going to have to go see the oral surgeon. I went and saw the oral surgeon. He's like, yeah, we can't save these teeth, which I, I knew that. Like I, I'm no dentist, but I definitely knew that these teeth were leaving my body. Um, and so, um, they were able to get me in fairly quickly from that original appointment and in a way I was actually wanting to get this taken care of even though I was scared I was actually very much wanting to get it done because if you I've had a tooth ache before like pain in the past like many 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 years ago and that is one of the most brutal and horrible pains ever and I was like Lord please don't let that happen to this tooth because I was just kind of on edge about it so I'm like I let's just get this done and so anyways um, I had my appointment on the Tuesday my husband took me I had to be there at a quarter to ten and honestly I was nervous um, I did take medicine to help chill me out beforehand but it didn't it didn't do a whole lot to be honest I was still struggling um, to keep my cool the whole time but anyway so I get into the room my husband couldn't go back with me and um, one of the things honestly that I was the most afraid of that morning was getting the IV put in. Um, I have had previous surgeries and I tend to pass out from IVs. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I could get my blood drawn all day long and and get poked in, in this part of my arm. No big deal but for some reason when they put things in my arm or my my hand or my forearm it's like a, it's it's ridiculous <laughs> so my body just reacts poorly um, so anyways I was super scared about that but thankfully the place I went I went to the face and jaw I think it's called surgery center here in Bismarck North Dakota and the ladies were so kind and so nice to me because they knew about my diagnosis as well and so even lowering me back in the chair um, they they didn't just like push me back you know and like call it good they were very gentle with me very understanding um, and didn't rush putting things on me like you know the blood pressure cuff and the little sticky pad things and you know they were just like taking their time and made me feel at ease which I that is huge I personally think and um and then she's like okay i'm gonna you know put the thing around your arm and we're gonna put the um sorry i'm trying to figure out what these vehicles are doing um the iv in and 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 as soon as i saw where she was putting it, i was like oh my gosh yay and here she was putting it in where they draw blood up in your the elbow part or whatever and oh my gosh i was so thankful literally did not hurt at all but what sucks is i was so amped up about that whole thing and here they didn't even end up putting it in my hand and she's like yeah being you're only here it's a you know a quick thing and you're not like it's not like a super long procedure we don't have to worry about you bending your your I'm like, what is this part called? Your elbow. Um, and honestly, before I knew it, I I remember feeling like, yep, I could tell the medicine's kicking in and I was asleep. And I woke up 
and my husband told me that I actually was thankful and grateful like those were like the first kind of words coming out of my mouth which kind of blows my mind because that's something I've been working on personally um, is just to, I just want to be I don't want to be that negative person I don't want even though I have a chronic illness I don't want to be that person that is constantly like doom and gloom and in sickness and in like doubt and fear and unbelief that I'm not gonna get better I don't want to be that person this happened to me it is what it is but ultimately I can choose the person that I want to be and so I've been really watching my words and my thoughts and really try trying to be more of a thankful and grateful person and so when my husband told me I woke up that way just blew my mind because I wasn't even fully conscious yet like I don't remember him being in there I barely remember leaving the building and um, I don't know it's that that was just amazing to me and um, so anyways to wrap this up because I am almost to OT but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update and say that um, and I may be repeating myself a little bit here, but if you're dealing with a chronic illness and you have a diagnosis, don't focus so much on your diagnosis versus what can I do to get better? Because honestly, your mindset and the way you are taking on life and you are taking on your days is going to have the greatest and the biggest impact in how you are going to heal. Guarantee it. I absolutely guarantee it. And so I just want to end this by encouraging you, if you are having a hard time with um, staying, you're kind of very much stuck in fight or flight, like you are in survival mode and you, you do need help, honestly, you can reach out to me. Um, you can message me over on Instagram at New Life Sparrow 23 and um, I can just maybe give you some tips on how to start just reining in those thoughts and um, because that is so key in moving forward okay so anyways I am gonna start praying right now that I get a, a decent parking spot because um, downtown it can get pretty full very quickly down here so so anyways, I'm going to focus on the parking lot. Um, I hope um, some of what I said in here was helpful. And per usual, if this was helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. It just helps me know that I am at least helping at least one person out there. And honestly, I would do this for one person. So um, yeah, I am praying for you guys. And um, yeah, I will talk with you guys shortly. Bye.